following podcast is a production of Radio Felician, the voice of Felician University of New Jersey and the home of alternative rock done right. Available via iHeartRadio. Tune in, the Radio Felician app, and at RadioFelician.com. Radio Felician University. What's up, what's up, world? What's up, what's up, Falcons? It's the Money Shits of Vibe podcast, and it's nothing but a vibe. vibe. It's your girl, Moni, today, and Moni is here with who? Amira. Um, me and Bestie. It is me and Bestie today. Um, and the reason why so is because today I did release um, a video, and I released a little snippet just telling you guys that I will be giving you guys women mental health episodes. Well, not women mental health episodes, but Women History Month episodes, all Women History Month long. Yes, celebrating the woman. And- <laughs> But yes, I decided to do this because I feel like we need to shed light on women um, and just give us a month where like we could talk about what we got to talk about and really just, you know, sit and engage and, you know, get feedback from other women and et cetera. So today's episode is the mental health of a woman. And I decided to do this episode. And this is the first episode of the Women History Month special because I feel like that you know, the 90 Shades of Vibes, we need to start getting in touch with the community. And we've been saying this. We've been saying, you know, we want to be with, we want to get more into the community community and really celebrate stuff. So next time for Black History Month, we really didn't do episodes, but those will be coming next time for next time around Black History Month to come. We're doing like specials. So yeah, today is the mental health of a woman. Um, And I just want to start off by saying like, you know, women, our mental health, it's insane. Like, we always have something going on. It's like our minds are just running at, like, 24 miles per hour. And we're just always thinking. So, like, um, this episode is really going to help us and, like, my viewers to get stuff off their chest and to be able to listen and take some tips from this episode. And that's all I want. I just want you guys to take tips, especially the women, take these tips and apply them to your daily routine and work on your mental health, girl, because, girl, life is hard and we all feel the same way. But to my first question of the day, if you didn't know... (laughs) What are some of the unique mental health challenges that women face and how do they differ from those faced by men? Some of our unique traits would be, you know, we do a lot of things. We give birth. We have to raise kids, you know, go through. What are some unique mental health challenges that women go through? Mental health meaning overthinking because we overthink. Mm, Yeah, that's bad. (laughs) And we play like scenarios in our head. That's not true. (laughs) That is very true. We play scenarios out in our head and everything. And then we run with it. Like, we don't never just let stuff be like. We just never let stuff be, and that just be like, it be a lot. Because let me tell y'all, with me, when experience with me, I overthink, and I'm going to give it to y'all real raw and straight. I overthink a lot. Let me tell you, I'm going to put y'all in on a little bit. This week, I've really been having my own mental health stuff going on, and I feel like that's exactly why I want to do this episode, because it's like, I need to get up out of the dumps. You know, women, we have those moments where we're in the dumps, and we just need to shake it off and get out of it. You know, we all have our bad days and our good days, but the dumps is where, like, you know, you're just going through, a like, your mind is just running and you're just going through a lot in your mind and you can't just seem to, like, stop and just take a minute and breathe. So I've been down in the dumps a lot, a little bit. And to be real, like, that's a little bit why um I really haven't been – you know, really, like, I've been doing stuff with the 90 Shades of Vibes, but content-wise, like, making content, making YouTube videos, I've been really slow on that because, like, my mental health and, like, just being down in the dumps. But I just want to say that you guys will be getting content from, from this day forward to whenever because I'm just dropping content like crazy now because I just got, like, the craziest, like, I had to remember, like, with my mental health that podcasting is something that I started not because it was... Not because of, oh, I want to be famous or I want money or I want this. No, it was because I feel like, you know, having a being a podcast owner as a woman and then the age that I am at, I feel like 
it's really motivating and I feel like that's what keeps me going. So I feel like um overthinking is definitely one. Um I like I said scenarios and I also feel like self sabotage is one for a uh, woman because we do self sabotage ourselves a lot. That's what I mean by being down the dumps. You self sabotage like it's in a sense of nothing's that serious, and a lot of people don't like to hear that. Like, you know, I'm able to feel how I feel because I can feel how I feel. Yes, you're able to feel how you feel because you can feel how you feel, but don't feel how you feel for too long. That's the problem with women. We feel how we feel for too long, and we don't we don't just let stuff be what it is. And it's just like the life is too short. Life is too short, and we don't have time to be worried about other people. We don't have time to be sitting here down in the dumps. We got to keep moving because life going to keep going even if we stop. So... With that being said, I feel like anybody that is down on the dumps, any woman, any man, this goes out to men too, but anybody out there who's down in the dumps and just going through that little stuff, don't feel like that for too long. Accept your emotions, forgive yourself, and keep it going. Keep it pushing. But down to my next question, um, how do social expectations and gender roles impact women's mental health, particularly in terms of roles such as caregiving, cancer, no, caregiving, career pressure, and body image? Okay, so basically this question is this. How do social expectations and gender roles impact women's mental health? Like, you know how, um, like... We have this stereotypical, um, we have this stereotypical scenario where it's like, in a sense, women have to be petite. Like, you have to be petite. You can't have be thick. You can't have like, you know, bone. Like, you can't have meat on your body. Like, stuff like that. Like, how do these particular, like, how do these social expectations, like caregiving, career pressure, and body image impact a woman's mental right. health? Social media is it plays a big role. Yeah, because it does. BBLs and having no stomach is not realistic. Yeah. Women have stomachs, okay? It's okay to have a stomach. No, it's not that's because you're big. Everybody's made in their own way. Right. Okay? So I feel like social media just puts it out there like, well, you need to be skinny. You need to be petite. But that's not the reality. That's not yeah. real life. No, that is very true. I feel like social media does make it to where you need to be a certain size. You need to look a certain way. You need to dress a certain way. Boo, I me. Like, and if you don't like me for me, then I don't know what you want me to tell you. That's where the impossible beauty standard kicks in. Exactly, because I'm going to keep it so real. I don't care what y'all think about me. That's real. Like... I don't care what y'all think about me. God made me in his image. Like, I could care less. That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, if you feel like you want to be skinny, you feel like you got a little bit too much meat on your body, baby, there's such thing as a gem. You don't need to be going to go get no BBLs or nothing like that. If you want a BBL, that's cool. That's fine. But at least work on your body first before trying to let people go in and really, like, work on your body, put stuff in your body, everything. No, make sure your natural body is healthy first you before you go do that. Like, exactly. Stay consistent before you decide to get surgery. Yeah, because that be was your me, last like, option. Like, not you be being, going to the gym, stay exactly. consistent. Because that, that was even with me. Like, I was like, when I get older, do I want to, like, get a little BBL? Do I want to get a butt, whatever like that? I don't know. To be honest, if I was to do that, it would be natural. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't look how some of y'all BBLs look. Looking like thighs on bones. And... All right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, seriously, like, we're just being real. Like, we feel like... And we're also not trying to bring down women. That we're not trying BBLs. to, yeah, we're not trying to bring down women. We're just saying, I feel like the reason why a lot of these mental health standards, like the reason why these stereotypical standards get to us is because women are smart about it. It's like not, they're not smart about it, but they're not smart about what they do to their bodies. They're not smart about stuff affecting them. Stuff like this should not affect y'all. Like, yes, I understand that, you know, we have Instagram influencers, we have models, we have this, but Babe, you have to make your image. Working on yourself is working, even working on your image. If you decide that you don't like the way your eyebrows look or something like that, you can go get your eyebrows tinted. You could go get a tattoo. You could change stuff about yourself, but only change stuff about yourself only because you want to, not because somebody else wants to. And also, it's a such thing called... Being consistent. If you want to be the, if you want to become the woman that your future self 
wants to be like, your present self wants to be like, you need to do the habits of being being in that consistent state of mind, like, well, I'm going to go to the gym every day. I'm going to, like, make a schedule for yourself. Like, don't just, like, say, I'm going to do this and then don't do it. No, seriously, because a lot of people freak up their schedules, too. That's why That's why I feel like as a woman and having, like, mental health issues, that could, that could be a definite, like, reason, too. Because we don't stay consistent with our, like, schedules. Like, Take but it's okay. Self-care. Everybody, yeah, everybody has their moments where they're not like where they're like I said in the dumps and they just can't do it. But that doesn't mean stay there for too long. But I also agree, like you got to stay consistent with your schedules because if not, that could throw you off. Also, it's okay to be emotional. I mean, you're emotional creatures. Always remember that you don't have to be hard all the time. Throwing shots at me is <laughs> outrageous. You can have and express your emotions to people. It is okay. For everyone on the on this podcast, I'm letting you know as a woman, it's okay to cry sometimes. It is okay to be down. Just don't it, be there for too long. Self care it, it plays a big part. I'm gonna be so real. <laughs> Throwing shots is wow, but I'm not hard all the time. I'm just. It's just that I have my I have my ways. Like I have my ways where it's like if I'm going through something, I want to handle it on my own. Like it's not in the sense of that. You know, I can't be emotional and express my feelings, but it's like, you know how people say you don't want to lay a burden? It's not, and I know some people like, it's not you laying a burden, but it's like, yes, it is because now you're worried about me. Not necessarily. It's people that care about everyone or people in general. It's not (laughs) towards anyone specifically. It towards all women. It is okay to express your emotions when you're not feeling okay before it leads to anything else. Mm-hmm. That's serious. But I feel like this. I feel like that's like a flaw of mine that I need to like, you know, get together, which I know that I'm going to start like progressing with that. But I will learn how to be more soft and stop being so hard all the time. And that is something that I have to work on myself, which I will work on. <laughs> but yeah, my apologies if I'm so hard, because it's like, y'all, y'all don't understand. I just don't like... <sighs> I don't know. Like, I grew up like that. Like, I grew up, like, real. Like, I'm going to keep it real. Like, when I was younger, I was a crybaby. I was a crybaby. I don't know what happened to me, but now I just don't let nothing slide. Like, I always got something to say. And I don't know why, but I feel like it's probably because, like, in high school, like, high school, middle school, I was bullied. And I used to just let stuff slide. But when I got older, people really did stop playing with me, y'all. Like, people really did stop playing with me. Like, I it's feel like it's crazy. Like, grow. people don't even say nothing to me no more. They just stop playing with me because me and my mouth now, I guess to business. But I feel like as we grow as women, grow. Oh, yeah, women, as we grow we as need women. need to expand our minds You're from right. where we grew up You're from. totally, I'm going to keep it real. You're totally right. As, as we grow as women, we need to not, like, let the past define us, in which that is very true. But, um... What what I'm saying is in the sense of, like, now that I have got older, nobody plays with me. Like, you know, nobody speaks crazy back, to me. Back to men's, women's mental to health. health. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, that is, but, yeah, none of y'all play with me. <laughs> none of y'all play with me. Um, what are some common mis- misconceptions of sig- sigma surrounding women's mental health and how can we work to... Com- uh, how can we work to accommodate, accommodate them? You don't know what that means? I do, but we need to, like, back it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the next question then. Um, how, do, how does life transition such as pregnancy, childbirth, menopause, or aging affect women's mental health, and what support systems are available during this time? So, I'm going to give a real pregnancy does... Um, Pregnancy is one transition one transition that does affect a woman's mental health because of uh you get right. um a postpartum whole child in you. Like yeah. a child you're growing inside of you. And also you can get postpartum. Like a lot of women do get postpartum. And I feel like that does overweigh on the mental health. But um in a sense of what support systems are available during this time, when you have a baby, your family should be a support system too. The person that you have your child. Oh yeah, the person that has your child with, and also your doctors. You know, your doctors are there for you. Like, definitely talk to your doctors. Counseling is very counseling is one because if you got menopause, baby, I need I need you to go sit and talk to somebody 
real. Like, I need to go talk to somebody because having a child and having, like, um, having a child and having, what I just say? <laughs> no, I just forgot. That just slipped my mind. But having a child and, um, having a child and going through that type of uh, mental health, like, transition, you really do need a support system behind that, real. Because a lot of people don't have support systems. Like, when they um have postpartum, a lot of people don't have that support. Like, they don't have nobody to help them, and they just fall off. So, as women, we really need to start, like, and that's the biggest thing for women. We're so independent. We don't like to ask for help. So, I feel like women need to, like, us out, us out there, period, like, in general, listen to me, women, it's okay to ask for help. I sometimes have to tell myself that, too, because I don't like to ask for help, and I'm so independent. And also, women need us to start supporting women instead of bringing them down. Yeah, because y'all, y'all, I don't like that. Y'all need to stop doing that to these females. Like, I really see a lot of stuff on social media that really does make me mad on a daily, because it's like, who, mm-mm, nothing. Because if I bring the biblical, if I bring the biblical verses in here, y'all going to be mad. Because as women, we just need to support each other because we know what we're going through. Men don't know what we're going through. Only we do. They no, don't know real. what we go through, like per- pregnancy, periods, menopause. All these things happen at different ages. So and like, to keep it so real, like men don't care. They don't care. And it's not even a sense of like... Oh, you're just saying that probably because of your experience. No, I'm saying that because this is the world we live in, baby. Men don't care. They still gonna do what they wanna do at the end of the day. It's still gonna be a oh, it's still gonna be a oh, well, you're the cause of your own, you know, your own mental health and everything else. Man, men do not care. Men think it's just oh, you choose to be down in the dumps because you choose to be down in the dumps, which is to type true in a way if we want to bring up Greek philosophy. But in the sense of that, mental health issues do sick. It does sigma for men. Like men does cause mental health issues because before a woman is in a relationship, she's happy. Once a woman gets into a relationship, have kids, everything else, it's a lot of stuff that comes with it, and your mental health goes downhill. So if you want to be actually Logically real, a man does sigma a, a woman's mental health. Not all men. Not all. No, I'm not saying all men, but Gen Z, y'all know I'm talking to y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm talking to y'all. Because you look look what y'all doing to these girls out here. Y'all know I'm talking to y'all. Y'all need to stop it. Like, And also, I feel like it really is technically... This generation is just messed up in general. This generation is messed up. It's like, come on. like, And then it is Women History Month. You know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy, though? I've noticed over the years that nobody supports, nobody starts showing support to things and starts shedding light to things until it's a month that comes up where you can shed light. Like Black History Month. Gen Z, y'all don't shed light on nobody. Y'all be to post the pictures that y'all outside, Miami, Atlanta, LA, stuff like that, cute, cute, calm, and all that, doing all that. But where to support that throughout the whole year? Don't just give your community a month. Where is the culture? Yeah, where's the culture at? Y'all talking about some people want to be like, I'm this, I'm this, I'm Jamaican, I'm this, I'm that. Show your culture. Be more, be more diverse. Like that's the thing. Even with women, in a sense of women, like. I feel like uh-uh, we need like, to support more, each other as yes. as black women. We all need to support each other like, and be as minorities in general, and be like stand out. Like yes, we're not we're prove people wrong. People think that think of us one way. Like we're loud, we're ghetto. We need to prove people wrong and like really do something with ourselves. Yeah, not be a stereotype. Exactly. Like y'all, this is exactly why this podcast is a podcast. I I refuse. As a woman and a young woman at that and a first generation college student and a beautiful black young woman to just sit and be a stereotype. I will never. I will never. I will never. And it's not because of the world. It's because of me. I have a phobia of being broke. I can't be broke. I can't live in the hood. I can't live in the projects anymore. I can't do none of that. Yes, that's where I come from. But that's not where I want to stay. The way I spend money, I wasn't meant to be poor. I was I meant to be rich. rich. <laughs> I was meant to be rich. Shout out to my dad. Yeah, y'all can go, y'all can go text my dad right now. My dad going to tell y'all, this girl, be this girl, this girl. But for real, for real. Like, 
the way I spent money, like she said, I, I wasn't meant to be broke, baby. I wasn't meant for that. I was meant for the high life. <laughs> like so. your parents put you on a path where you can can be strong on a straightforward mm-hmm. path. So you'll be able to like move forward and have a better life. They're, that's all they want for you, a better mm-hmm. life. better than They want you to be better and grow better than they have ever did. That's just, that's exactly what it is, um, especially like with women, too. I feel like parents are mainly more on girls, mainly like when they have kids and they have like, oh, girls, and or if they have boys, their main focus is the girl because it's like, you know, girls can easily get pregnant and, you know, that's, that's a mom's biggest fear as their daughter getting pregnant at a young age. I have definitely like, I've definitely peeped that, like... That's their that's a that's a mom's biggest fear. You wanna know why? It's because your mom has your best interest at heart. Like she really wants you to be something. She doesn't want you to turn into a stereotypical. Like people feel like, oh, my mom is just yelling at me and she's doing too much and this and that. Baby, I'ma keep it real with you. You better be glad she's telling you now. Cause if she wasn't telling you, you would be a stereotype. I'm sorry that came out a little harsh. But real, like y'all really don't listen to your moms. I know moms are moms, and yes, I know. Sometimes your mom get on your nerves. I definitely understand. I, I'd be having my moments with my dad where it'd be like, do you want to fight? But um, <laughs> it's still like we got to listen because these are our parents and they wouldn't be telling us this for no reason. So really sit back and start listening to your parents. Girls, girls, listen to your parents for real about certain stuff. Like really sit and listen to your parents. Um, Guys, y'all need to see your fathers because y'all be tweaking. I'm not about to keep saying the same thing, mm-hmm. for real, because y'all be tweaked out. But I don't know why you look giving me that uh, side eye like mm-hmm. that. Like I said, listen to your parents. You heard what I said. <laughs> listen to the Madre. Listen to the five day. <laughs> <laughs> the Madre. But, um, yes, guys, definitely, um, yeah, listen to your parents, for real. Especially to the women, listen to your parents. But, um... Guys, I just want to say thank you for listening. Um, Yes, this episode is, like, very short, but, you know, it's because it's a Women History Month special. Um, But I do want to say thank you, guys. Shout out to you guys for just supporting and listening to our podcast and just being engaged. We are so sorry that we have been, like, you know, having our moments and haven't been up and being motivated. But, guys, watch out for the content because the content is coming and it's not going to stop. Um... I have a lot of good stuff coming for this podcast, guys, and I just want to say that I am very blessed and I am very grateful for everything that is that God is giving me and throwing my way. And I think you guys should, too. And shout out to the Women Women History Month. Shout out to all the CEOs. Shout out to all the business owners. Shout out to all the girls that's even working a nine to five. Shout out to the hairstylists. Shout out to every woman that is out here getting to her money definitely support woman support Support. and also i just want to say shout out to one of my friends shout out to my friend Jana. she's a content creator please go follow her youtube channel and like comment and subscribe to the life of Jana. please go watch her spring break vlogs remember support women yes support women please go watch her spring break vlogs which i am in you will see her jumping on me on a bit um, I don't know what to tell you guys, but yes, please go like and comment, and subscribe to the life of Jana, and you know, share all her videos. Get my girly to 500 subscribers. I love her so much, and she is one of one of my greatest friends. I love her, of course, besties right here. Y'all already know how I feel about my bestie, but <laughs> she, Jana, is one of my loving friends, and I will forever support her and always be there for her, so please go follow her. Also, shout out to the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast, guys. Go follow us on Instagram at the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast. Please go subscribe to our YouTube channel at the 90 Shades of Vibe podcast. Go subscribe to our independent channels, Monty's The Icon, and that's so <laughs> it might be the icon and um that's ron and go follows creative directors the aviance um independent channel princess diaries and always freaking remember guys that it's nothing, nothing but, but a vibe, vibe. <laughs> peace out my 90 shades Remember two ways to listen. Check out all Radio Felician podcasts via Spotify. Just search Radio Felician University or just go to RadioFelician.com. Follow Felician Radio on Instagram at Radio underscore Felician. 
This podcast has been a production of Radio Felician, the voice of the Franciscan University of New Jersey. The views expressed are solely those of the hosts and guests and are not official statements of Felician University. Visit Radio Felician on the web anytime at radiofelician.com. Want to send an email? Reach out at radio station at felician.edu. Radio Felician, the Falcon.